Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to show you a couple of the tasks in one of our SAM Cengage projects that we're currently working on. One of your classmates called me up to ask about tasks number five and six. Now, I've got the working sheet open, and I've got the directions open, and even though you don't see me doing it, I've actually taken care of tasks one through four. I completed steps one through four without reading steps five and six, just thinking. I always like to complete the previous task first, just in case the later tasks require the previous ones. I don't think they do though. So I've completed steps one through four, and now I'm on step five. And basically the goal here is to project the number of downloads in June to November by filling the series for the first projection range, H7 to 07, with a linear trend. So here's how we might go about that. Now, if I look at this worksheet, what they're referring us to is right over here. In fact, the previous task dealt with H6 and H8. So they're predicting some downloads in May. And they say in the directions, she estimates 11,432 downloads, which is the average number of monthly downloads from January to April. So if I go back to this data over here, and I select January through April totals, I'm looking down at the status bar at the bottom of my screen, and I can see that that average is 11,432 over those four values, and that's where that is coming from. But we want to continue this series, so I'm going to go ahead and select, what am I selecting? H7 through 07, and we want to continue this on to 14,000. So what I'm going to do here is on the home ribbon, I'm going to look for the fill option. It's over towards the right. I'm going to fill a series. And what does it want here? Fill the series for the first projection range H707 with a linear trend. So I've got type linear. That's good. I'm going to check the trend box, which takes away any need for step values or stop values. I'll click OK, and it's going to insert some numbers for me. OK, those may look good. But when I'm done, I'm going to check the, uh, the screen capture at the end of the directions to see if my numbers match up with theirs. Let's go ahead and check out, but I think that's right. I'm going to go ahead and look at step number six now. Olivia also wants to know how the number of downloads would increase if customers downloaded 3% more audiobooks each month from June to December. So based on a growth series of 1.03 is the step value. Well, we could do this manually, of course. You just take equals the previous number times 1.03, which is 103%, or 3% on top of the previous number. And I get that, and of course, then I could just uh, fill that all the way over, and I get a bunch of numbers that look like, a th that are a 3% growth, but that's not what they want us to do, so I'm gonna control Z to undo that. I'm gonna go ahead and select this range again. So I'm selecting H9 through 09, including the starting number. I'm gonna go back to the fill option, I'm going to fill a series, and we don't want to do trend because that takes away our step value. We need a step value, so we need 1.03. Double check the directions here. Um, uh, based on a growth series, so I need to choose the growth type on here, step 1.03. I'm going to click OK, and we get our values in there. Now, I'm going to scroll down in the directions because they give us that screen capture of what it's supposed to look like at the end. And I'm gonna use this picture just to kind of give me some confidence that we're doing this stuff right. So here's what it's supposed to look like. I'm looking at the top few numbers at the end, 13,266, 13,633, 14,000, that looks good. And these latter few numbers are 13,252, 13,650, 14,059. Okay, it looks like we've got those trends in. So I feel pretty confident that steps five and six are completed. I did steps one through four before turning on the camera. I feel pretty good about those. So I think we're on track here for getting this taken care of. Now, by the way, there is some information in your book on these particular topics, but the reason I wanted to demonstrate these um, besides getting the question, was that our book doesn't cover it very well, I think. They, they kind of gloss over it relatively quickly, but at least kind of gives us an area for where to start doing our work. So we have this fill feature in the editing area, and we can do a number of different things in there. I hardly ever use this feature, but there's a couple of options there that you're going to need for this particular activity. Thanks for hanging out with me.